Hello everyone, welcome to Cam Diane Made Creations and another tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to crochet a bucket hat. So as always, I don't like to dawdle, so let's get started. Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for to my new subscribers. So let's get started. Here I have a 5mm hook, and I'm just using a 4 category yarn. If you would like to have a tighter stitch, you can use a smaller hook. So we're going to begin, and I'm going to start off with a magic circle. If you don't want to use a magic circle, you can just chain 5 and then slip stitch into your first stitch to get your circle. And then um, once you've made your circle, you want to chain, I mean, half double crochet 10 times into that circle. So I made my magic circle and I chained 2. And I'm going to go into my magic circle with 10 half double crochets. I like the magic circle because the magic circle allows you to be able to adjust um, as you go along. You can add more stitches and make it wider if you need to. So it's a great uh, method um, to get a nice round um, project. So I'm going to continue with my 10 half double crochets and I will be back. Okay, so now we've made it through row one and we have 10 half double crochets. So now you're going to slip stitch into the first stitch and then make two half double crochets into each stitch across. So in that same stitch that you just slip stitched into, you're going to put two half double crochets in there and two half double crochets going across and I'll be back. Okay, so now we are at row two and we have 20 half double crochets. So now slip stitch into your first stitch and chain one. Now go into the first stitch, the same stitch that you slipped into slip stitched into say that 10 times two times and then into the next one you just do one half double crochet and that's your pattern for row three so it's two half double crochets one half double crochet and then two half double crochets doing this all the way across two half double crochets in the first stitch one half double crochet in the next stitch two half double crochets in the next stitch and so forth so continue making your stitches and I will meet you at the other end you should have 30 half double crochets okay so I have my 30 half double crochets I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch and let's continue on we are increasing so that we can get it to the width up that you want to this is the crown of your head so now in row four, you're going to double crochet, two double crochets into the first stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch, one double crochet into the next stitch, and two double crochets into the next stitch. This is our increase for row four. So when you've done that and done all of those, you should have 40 half double crochets at the end of your row. So I'm going to continue with my pattern. Remember, it is two half double crochets in the first stitch, one half double crochet in the next, one half double crochet in the next, and two half double crochets in the next, repeating your pattern over again. So I'm going to continue and I will be back. Okay, so now we are on row four and we have those 40 half double crochets. Go ahead into your first stitch and make a slip stitch. Eventually, I will stop making slip stitches and show you how to use a stitch marker. Go ahead and chain one, and we're going into row six. So, in your first uh, half, in your first <laughs> stitch, go ahead and make two half double crochets, and then you're going to make one half double crochet into three stitches across. So, your first is two half double crochets, and then one half double crochet, one half double crochet one half double crochet in the next three stitches across and then in the next one two half double crochets so that is your pattern for your fifth row so I'm going to continue making these stitches again we are still increasing this is the 
first part, the first section of your hat, which is the crown. I'm going to continue and I'll be back. Okay, so now we are at row five and I have 50 half double crochets here. So I'm going to give it a measurement. We're going to look at it and see how wide it is now. The average adult size head is between five and a half to seven inches. Everyone is different. So I'm going to continue on. I'm going to continue increasing and making another row so that we can have it as wide as we need to. So I will be back and we're going to go ahead and increase. Okay, so let's continue with our increase. We're at row six now. So in my first stitch, I'm going to place two half double crochets. And then going across, you're going to put one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches going across because we did three for the previous row for four, for row five we have to do four for row six so make your two half double crochets into that first stitch and then one half double crochet in the next stitch one half double crochet into the next stitch one half double crochet in the next stitch and finally one half double crochet into the next stitch and then continue your pattern start over and in the next stitch you put two half double crochets so that's two one 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 and two again and that's your pattern so i'm going to do this around and i'll be back okay so now i have my six rows of half double crochet and that gives me 60 half double crochets going all the way around <clears throat> excuse me so now I'm going to take a measurement of what it looks like now. And so now I have, it looks like about five and a half inches now. We're slowly creeping into six inches. So instead of me continuing to increase, I'm going to just make a row of half double crochets going all the way around. So for row seven, we want to go ahead and slip stitch into the first stitch and make your slip knot I mean slip stitch into the first stitch and chain one and then we're just going to go around the around the around with half double crochets so chain one and then just go into the first stitch with a half double crochet and just repeat that all the way around and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so now I have my row of half double crochets going around. And this is row seven. So you should have 60 half double crochets going all the way around. Now we're going to continue on and we're going to move on to section two, which is the body of the hat. So I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into the first stitch and chain one. And now we're going to work in the back loops of this project. So instead of going through both of the loops, we're going to go into the back loop of the project. I'm just showing you what that looks like, but I'm going to move to the second stitch. I can show you this is the back stitch and that's the front. This is the back loop and then the front loop. So now we're going into the back loop. Remember to make your chain one and in the very first stitch, put your hook into that back loop there to make a half double crochet. So I'm gonna show you one more time where I'm going with my hook. That's the front. This is the back. Put your loop into the back, put your hook into that back loop and yarn over and half double crochet. I'm gonna make, yeah, half double crochet, sorry. <laughs> So make those all the way across. I had to redo that because I did a single crochet. But we want to make half double crochets going all the way around. Right into that back loop back there. And if you don't know how to make it. If you don't know how to crochet in the back loop. Because I am kind of going fast here. I do have a tutorial on how to crochet in the back loop. How to single crochet in the back loop. And it's the same process for any stitch. Single crochet half double crochet, double crochet. It's the same process. It's just different stitches. So I'm going to keep making these half double crochets into the back loop all the way around and I will meet you back at the beginning. 
Okay, so now we're done with row 8 and we're going into row 9. You should still have 60 half double crochets. So as you can see, it's beginning to fold in, which is perfect. Now we're going down the sides of the body. So your project should be curving in just a little bit so that we can go down the sides. I'm going to grab my measuring tape to show you how big that is. And now it's at six and a half inches, which is good enough for me. I have kind of a small head, but I do have hair. So you want to compensate for that. And your edge right now is not even an inch long, but it will get longer. So now the rest of your rows, you're going to make just half double crochets going around. You're not going to increase. You're not going to do anything but just make half double crochets going all the way around straight through the stitches. You're not going to go into the back loop anymore. Um, I'm going to not use a stitch marker. I'm going to put my last half double crochet in here. If I can get it in. Into the back loop, of course. And now to go into your first stitch. Now we're not going to use a stitch marker, so you're going to make a half double crochet into that first stitch. And once you've made your half double crochet, go ahead and add your stitch marker to that first stitch. I just don't want to have that line going down the hat. And the only reason I did that for the crown of the hat was so that I could show our beginners how to bring those two ends together. So now all I'm going to do is just make one half double crochet into each of these stitches just the normal way. You're going to go through both the loops into that stitch just like you would make a normal half double crochet. You're not going to go into the back loop or the front loop just straight across going all the way around. Now you can make as many rows as you want. I'm going to make this. I'm going to make my rows until it reaches the middle of my ears until it begins to touch the middle of my ears and then we'll continue on from there so i'm going to continue making my rows keep checking it on your head keep testing it out and trying it on or if you're making it for someone else um go ahead and test it on them and just keep making your stitches all the way around so when i come back i'll have a few more rows of these half double crochets remember when using your stitch marker Every time you begin a new row, you want to move your stitch marker up. So when you make your first stitch of that row, take and put your move your stitch marker up to that following row. So I'm going to continue and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and I went ahead and made eight rows total. I'm just going in and measuring how long this is. And it is now at about three and a half inches going down the side, down the body of the bucket hat. So now you can continue on if you want to. I am going to stop here at my eighth row and we're going to continue on to the next section. This next section is going to be your flap. This is section three. So this is the ridge of your project. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the front loop of our stitch. So just take your hook and just like with the back loop, except you're going to go into the front loop. So yarn over and put your hook right into that front loop, right in between those loops. You're going into the front. That's the front. Put your hook in, yarn over and make your half double crochet. This is the rim of the hat the part that sticks out further than the rest of your hat. So you just want to put one half double crochet in each of these stitches in the front loop of your stitch going all the way around. You should still have 60 half double crochets going around if you're making the same size hat as me and I'll be back. Make sure that you are putting your stitch marker into your first stitch or you will get lost. So I'll be back. Okay, so now that we've done all of our half double crochets in the front loop, we're going to continue. We're going into row 18 and we're going to just make 
half triple crochets going all the way across just the regular way nothing in the front loop nothing in the back loop just a regular half double crochets going all the way across remember you're staying within 60 so you should still have 60 half double crochets when you get around back to the beginning so i'm going to do that make my 60 half double crochets and don't remember remember to put in your stitch mark I have a terrible habit of doing that remember put that in there so that you know where your first stitch is so we'll go ahead i'm going to continue on and then i will meet you back at the end of the row with my 60 half double crochet okay so i am back and i'm at the end of the row i'm going to remove my stitch marker so now we're going to do an increase because we want to begin to make our rim to stick out and go out further um for our bucket hat so i'm going to make 10 half double crochets and when i get to my 11th stitch i'm going to put two half double crochets into that 11th stitch and again this is just basically we're increasing the rows to get the rim of the hat to come out a little bit further um, you can do this as long as you want as many rows as you want you just want to make sure that when you do an increase row after your increase row you want to make just one row of half double crochets or whatever stitch you're using all the way around so you do your increase row and then your second row after your increase will be just a row of half double crochets so as i said i'm going in making 10 half double crochets and then in the 11th stitch i'm making two half double crochets so i'm going to continue on making my stitches all the way across i'm counting to put my stitch marker back in here because i forgot but i will be back at the next row okay so i'm back and now i'm on row 19 and so now that we've already done our increase in row 18 we're just going to make a row of half double crochets going around you're not going to increase just one half double crochet into each stitch going all the way around make sure that you put your stitch marker into that first stitch so i'm going to make my row of half double crochets going all the way around one half double crochet into each stitch and i will be back okay so now i'm still on section three and we're now at row 20. so i'm going to remove this stitch marker now for this increase, we're going to do eight half double crochets and then do an increase. So go ahead into your first stitch with one half double crochet and make eight half double crochets going all the way across. When you get to your ninth stitch, you're going to put two half double crochets into that section and just continue doing this around. When you go into your 21st row, go ahead and make one half double crochet going all the way around and you just keep doing this increases until you are satisfied with how far out you want your brim to come um, i'm going to keep going i'm going to do a few more rows and then when i come back i'll have it the way that i want it to be again after this half double crochet row you want to go into your next row with an increase which will be 10 half double crochets and then two and then 10 and two and so i'm going to keep going and i will be back when i'm at the end when i have my hat all done okay so this is what my hat looks like and i just decided to make one last row and finish off from there so as you can see i have a little um i just made a chain and just look so we use my darning needle to go in and out of those holes there right at the uh how do you say right at the crease of that where right where the brim starts i put that little extra there so again it's just simply going in and out with my darning needle as you can see on the sides they're coming out further than what the hat is so that is what you want you want that brim to be wider than the rest of your hat so i want to thank you for watching this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on facebook instagram and tiktok at cam tie handmade crochet 
Thank you to you all. I appreciate you all. Have a great and a wonderful day. Bye-bye.